Howdy boys! In this video, we're going to be customizing the Infernus Classic, which is based off of the Lamborghini Diablo, super old car, very, very beautiful. Before we hop into the customization, I do want to say that this car is on sale this week from December 22nd through the 29th while the snow is here for $640,000 down from $915,000. It is pretty cheap right now. You guys should definitely go grab yourselves one of these while it's discounted. And, uh, and with that, let's hop into the customization. I am so excited to customize this thing because it used to be my favorite Lamborghini, um, especially as a kid. I thought it looked so, so cool. So we just maxed out our armor onto the bodywork. Interesting. I like that this is an option on the car. I feel like not a whole lot of vehicles have bodywork options. Um, I'm kind of digging those, uh, the V-shaped gills. Now the question is, do we want to make them an off color? I'm kind of thinking of doing a matte black secondary. So you know what? Let's try the secondary color gills. We can, uh, we can play around with this after we change the colors as well. For the brakes, we're going to go with the race brakes. For the engine upgrade, oh, we got three choices here. We can do engine upgrades max first. For the engine block, interesting. Uh, we'll do the secondary color for that as well. And then for engine cover, let's see. I almost like the removed engine cover. I think that looks pretty cool. However, I'm kind of thinking we do the secondary color louver to match with the gills on the side. And then we'll, we'll come back and look at that as well. For the exhaust, of course, we're going to have to do some kind of titanium exhaust. I'm liking the tuner ones. The lights. This is an older car, so do I want to slap on xenons? Yeah, we're going to slap on xenons anyway. I think they just look better in this game in general. We're not going to do any neon. Um, and then for the plate, we are going to make that yellow one black to match the uh, the black on the back. For the respray, I was thinking of just going with a, uh, a traditional color for this car. Um, that being purple. But we will take a look at our other options because maybe there's something else that catches my eye. I think this car looks better in like darker colors. Gasoline green looks pretty cool. Lime green, yeah, not so much. The white does look good as well. I feel like we could go for a monochrome, uh, for a monochrome kind of build on this car. Cream definitely fits the style of this. More old school. Let's see what purple is going to give us what we want. I'm kind of thinking it's this one, the shafter purple. But uh, I can't really tell what the pearl essence on them. So let's go back to, uh, let's just try oh, shafter purple for great. now and then make the pearlescent an ice white. Yeah, no, that's definitely not the color we're looking for. Midnight purple, a little too dark. I want to say it's bright purple. Look at that brown pearlescent. Oh my gosh, it makes it kind of like a, a nebula color. That looks really cool. So there's the, uh, there's the ice white that we're looking for. Is this the color that I want? I want to say yes. You know what? We'll even we'll even be a little fancy with it. We'll go cream on the pearlescent, unless unless there's a brown one that catches my eye. Because honestly, the brown pearlescents do look pretty good. Cream. It, it gives it like a warm hue. I'm a fan of that. Whoa, that looks like an arcade. Oh my god. I think sandy brown is a good alternative. You know what? I think this um, in order to match like that OG kind of color that this car comes in. Um, I do, I do think Sandy Brown accomplishes that a little better than Cream does. I think Cream is a little bright. So we're going to go with the Sandy Brown. For the secondary color, let's see, we're going to do, I'm kind of just thinking about matte black for this. Let's see, how does the purple look? The purple does look really good though, is the only thing. I want to say the purple looks better than the matte black is kind of what I'm leading towards. I feel like this car, um, I feel like the gills kind of get uh, hidden like on the windows as well if it's black so we are i think we're just gonna go ahead and match that yeah we're gonna match it with the bright purple i think that looks good i kind of want to take off the louvers in the back though for the trim color let's see what we can do um bright purple looks filthy oh <laughs> my god um i don't hate the cream i think the cream one looks pretty good inside but it is like really bright and like takes up so much of the car so i think going with a darker trim color is better and I think the one to go for that is like, I can be a little a little quirky and make it midnight purple, I guess. Oh, dude, I really do like the cream on the inside though. But then it just looks so odd. Like it stands out way too much. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we can go for a brown or something, but it just has to be like darker. I like the straw brown. I think that gives it a nice like retro color without being too bright as well. Bleached brown. I don't know. Maybe it is a little ugly. I like bleached brown a little more. Yeah, okay, the cream is too bright. The bleach brown looks perfect, actually, for that uh, that style of, of like leather and whatnot that they threw into cars. 
like 20 years ago so that looks awesome for the skirts um we are gonna add some skirts i think primary color is the way to go and then for the splitter on the front mm, oof, i don't want to ruin the look of this car part of me likes the color race splitter and part of me doesn't dang if only there was like a slightly smaller option i think it would look great yeah i'm not really feeling the splitters i think they jut out too much let's see for the spoilers oh my god <laughs> what is that muscle killer wing what is that dude come on it doesn't even look that bad it reminds me of um king from from cars the blue race card the dino guy unfortunately this is not that car it does have a pretty similar shape though this is the classic spoiler um, I'm thinking we just go for that mid-level spoiler. That looks fantastic. For the suspension, do we drop that down all the way? I, I think we do drop it down all the way. It doesn't uh, go too high into the fenders. And um, I feel like this is where Lamborghinis are supposed to sit, like pretty low. Transmission, we're going to max that out. Turbo, we're going to tune and then onto the wheel. Okay, cheetahs right off the bat look fantastic. It has been a very long time since I customized this car though, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at some other options. Dude, the trefade concaves actually don't look that bad. I was thinking like if we make them white, that would look super cool. It would definitely make the car feel a lot more modern though. Okay, so this car does come with like the pepper pot essentially by default, but can I? I don't think I can change the rim color, can I? No, I do need custom rims. Ew. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, we do pretty much have our look right here if, if we wanted to. Like the way the car is right now with these rims, this is pretty much the classic Diablo look. I do, I kind of want to black out the rims. That was the only thing. Oh, this is killing me. Okay, I'm actually like so curious to try out the Trefade Concaves. I don't know why I like these rims so much, but uh, I think they look super cool. Um, I wanted to check them out in white. It does look pretty sick. I mean, I think it makes the car like look really sporty which is not a bad thing by any means. Does not really match the interior though. So maybe we do an interior color change and then essentially like make this a more modernized Diablo. Let's try it. Cause otherwise I'm gonna have to leave the rims like in their stock like circular color. And honestly, I personally love that look, but I think part of the fun in GTA is to be able to like black out the rims. And unfortunately we cannot achieve that uh, with any rim selection in the game except for the pepper pots which have that chrome ring which is pretty ugly so trim color we're just gonna make that a or we could do white frost white or we could just black it out and that'll uh, highlight the rims even more mm, what's the move fellas i kind of want to go with the brighter color because i feel like i feel like the rims are not bright enough unless they have the white interior as well so we're gonna go with the frost white interior but let's play around a little more with the rims here see if we can See if there's a, not a better option, but I do think for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. Endos are not bad. Endos are definitely not bad. These ones look pretty cool. The Tropos rims. Uh, see, it's got that chrome ring around it, and I just, I'm not a fan. I don't think that looks good at all. Dang, dude, these rims actually look pretty sick. They make it look really sporty. I'm, uh, I'm conflicted. I'm very conflicted. I think, I feel like the Trefade Concaves give the, give the back end, like, a little more of a in quotes lift like visually better than those tropos rims do so i think we're gonna stick with these but yeah these ones definitely aren't bad i just think uh it kind of makes the car feel low to the ground so we're gonna go with the trefade concaves here's the the stock room once again and here's what we have i don't think this is a bad choice at all i'm happy with this for our tires we're gonna do bulletproofs of course and then for our windows um, I'm not going to throw in any tint because I want the color to be visible to match with the wheels. I did say we were going to revisit some of the options in this car, so do we want the gills or do we want the fins? Dang, at this point, I almost feel like the fins look better with uh, these rims. I feel like it gives the car another unique shape, but I am a bigger fan of the fins, so we're going to stick with the fins, or sorry, the gills. We're going to stick with the gills um for the what did i say we were gonna go back to the skirts carbon skirts yeah i still like the primary one. Oh, the louvers that's what we're gonna do engine cover there we go for the engine cover we could make it black make it stand out a little more but i think uh white is the current theme oh that stock one does look like really good though dang that looks really good stock like i feel like this one is the stock one you know i feel like throwing a louver option on there is the default we're gonna move it back to stock. I think it looks a lot better. 
uh, having this little dip in the back with the spoiler shape, I think the car has excellent shape right now. And then because the car has been modernized, we are gonna leave the Xenons as well. Awesome, this looks absolutely fantastic. Let's uh, let's take it out. All right, nice little interior view for you guys. It's, uh, it's nothing special. And then we'll do a sound test as well. It sounds okay. Honestly, it's not like, absolutely insane or anything all right let's take this car out for a spin oh my goodness it is indeed snowing so like in the tourist video i'm not sure i'm going to be able to give you guys the best performance review but i can tell you what i know about the car dude this this thing looks so good oh my god it looks so good i'm quite happy with this customization i'm pretty sure all of the uh the new classic sports cars that they added into the game are quite fast that being the Rapid GT, the Turismo, the Cheetah, and the Infernus, they're all quite quick. I think this one is the lowest on the list out of like all of those. I think it should be like around fifth in the sports classics category. The top speed of this car is about 118 miles an hour, as tested by Bruffy1322, who is a well-known GTA 5 racer and vehicle tester. His stuff is always like super reliable, so. So definitely go check them out uh, if you want the exact performance of this car but last i remember it was around fifth being slower than the rapid gt classic the sterling gt the cheetah classic and the turismo classic but it's definitely not bad by any means it's, it uh it doesn't handle terribly i feel like it's the only reason it's sliding out on me right now is because of the snow but uh, other than that i don't really think it's a car that um that likes to step out all too much because it is pretty wide in the back so Overall, it is a it is just like a fantastic looking car. Um, I just like this is so surreal to me right now because I'm driving one of my childhood dream cars in GTA and it's snowing. The purple looks absolutely fantastic against the white. Dude, this car just looks so beautiful. Oh my God, look at that. Remember that this car is currently on sale until the 29th for $640,000. That's gonna wrap it up for the Infernus Classic customization. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video, comment down below and let me know what you thought of my customization. I think it looks pretty good as like a modernized Diablo, but of course everyone does make their car purple, so maybe it's a little generic. Um, I still think it looks excellent nonetheless. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, there will be more content like this coming out in the future. And that's about it, so take care boys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!